Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to use custom metadata in Salesforce flow. But before that, I request you to you all, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side. And also please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So first of all, we have some scenario. Scenario is based on the custom metadata, I want to populate the country code like ISO country code. So based on the country, I want to populate in the account object the country ISO code. So how we can manage this thing? So first of all, you have to create one custom field in the account object. So this is the prerequisite. So we have to manage these all things inside this object. So just click on the field and relationship, create a new field. A field type is a text, is a data type. And uh, here you have to search the text. So you can see the text, click on the next. And once we clicked on the next, it can be anything in your case. I am using like ISO code. Okay. Length, it can be anything. I am using like full length as of now. Just click on the next. And once you clicked on the next, visible for all profile, next and save. So here you can see our field is successfully created here in the, you know, account object. Let me check the visibility of the field. So just click on this field. And after that, you can see one option here, view field accessibility. So once you click it, now you will be see some, you know, this drop down. You have to select your field. So in my case, I'm using like ISO code. I want to check which profile is enabled for this one. So it's automatic editable. So no need worry about. Right. So this is the prerequisite. Again, you have to click on the setup. And here you have to search like custom metadata. This is the second step you have to check like custom metadata custom metadata so this is the one just click on this one and create new custom metadata so custom metadata it can be anything in my case i am using like a country right so country iso code something like that you can create anything as you want so let's say country iso code country iso code okay Rural name, you can use like, this is the label, rural make it as a S, right? And click on the save. So our custom metadata is ready. Now we have to create some, you know, custom field inside it. So custom field, there is a two field here. One is uh, country standard. So that is the text field. So here you can see the text, click on the next. And that is country standard, right? and length you can give any length as you want click on the next save and new because i need to create another one and another one also be a text text here you can see just click on the next here field level name and like iso code iso code right length 255 click on the next and save so we have already created two fields inside of you know custom metadata now we have to click on this manage country iso code so just click on here create a new record here label let's say country let's say india this is the first one and company standard also india you can make it and in iso code in for example purpose in your case you can give anything as you want but for now for your better understanding purpose uh, that's why i'm sharing these things let me click on the save and new because I need to create another record. Let's say Malaysia, something like that. You can give any name as you want, like Malaysia. Then just copy it, paste it in the country standard. I select MY. Just click on the save. So we already created two records inside this country ISO code metadata. So here you can see two fields and the, in the main is you can see the two records like India and Malaysia, right? Now it's time to do one thing. Just we have to create the flow, right? So that is the purpose of this video, like custom metadata plus flow, right? So just click on the object manager, click on the setup, or here you can see the create, click on this flow. And once you click on the flow, and now you can see uh, one screen will be pop up here. 
and now it's time to create the flow. So you have to select the template. Let us start from the scratch and it's a record trigger flow. Click on the create and in this flow, I need to select the object first. So primary object is the account. Okay. And it's created at the time of record creation. I want to populate ISO code inside account object based on the custom metadata and country. Right. So now this is the one thing. Another one, just you have to select the condition because I need to check some condition. Let's say billing country, that is billing country in the account object uh, is null false. That is the condition because I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, execute this flow again and again because of this condition, right? So always check your condition whenever this condition meet, then you can go further to further step, right? So again, you have to click on the fast field update because it's the same object, right? So that's why I'm using this fast field update because of performance. Now click on the plus icon. Under the plus icon, now you have to get the custom metadata record from the flow, right? So just you have to search like get. So this is the get record. Like get record from custom meta data, something like that. Okay, after that, you have to select your, you know, custom metadata type. So this is the custom metadata type, like country ISO code. After that, you have to check like country standard, right? You have to map it, country standard, right? Equal, and then we have global variable that is, you know, dollar record. Under here, we have like billing country. So we have to search like billing country, this one. So we already map this field with our custom metadata. After that, no need worry about everything, leave it as it is. After that, you have to check here is null or null check, right? So after that, you can add here that is decision. So in this decision, let's say check, check null, something like that. Okay, now make it as a yes. And here we have to check like a country ISO, right? So this is the country ISO and uh, get uh, that is uh, uh, related to the get form something like that right get make custom metadata that is from this element and after that you have to check like is null okay false because it's a global variable you can search from here as right and after that you can update the uh, iso code field inside the account object so now you have to select like update and now just search here like update record update record in account iso code something like that right and uh, once you update it like that now you have to check that field so we already created like iso in the account object you can see and just you have to map it so how we can map it just click on this one and now you can see like uh, get record from custom metadata right after that you can check like iso code so this is the mapping after that you can click on the same button now like iso code or using custom metadata custom meta day right click on the same button once you clicked on the same button now our flow is successfully saved. Now it's time to activate this flow. Just don't forget it to activate, otherwise it will not work. So our flow is activated successfully here, you can see. And after that, we have to check this flow is working on. Click on this app launcher. Under the app launcher, you have to search like account. Open the account here. And create a new account. Account name anything as you want. For now, I'm using like demo. And now, billing country, let's say India, first of all. And please, please focus on this field, that is ISO code. Right now, I'm not putting any value, right? So, it's automatic populate when whenever we clicked on the save button. Just click on the save. Now, our record is successfully saved. Now, we have to check this record, have this ISO or something like that. So, let me check that one. So, just click on this in detail. Now come down. Now you can see our billing country India and ISO code IN automatic populated here. 
right from the custom metadata using flow now let me create the another account here let's see what happened okay so now click on the new and this time let me make it as a test like test or test something like that and uh, this time i want to make the country as malaysia like this malaysia click on the save and once you click on the save here right so now come down come down and in the detail tab now you can see malaysia is the country and the is code is my so here you can see so it's a automatic populate via custom metadata using flow so this is how we can use custom metadata type inside the flow in salesforce so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more update so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye